Hey there guys, how are you? Welcome to a brand new Q&A Ask Anything and Everything video where I answer anything and everything that you guys ask me on Snapchat. And by the way, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, right there. So it looks like I have a ton of Snapchat video questions and that's how I prefer my questions to be asked. I want to look at you guys as you ask me the question. I want to look into your eyes and get a little bit magical, a little bit mystical. Shh, don't get scared now. Hey John, how are you? That was my impersonation of you. What were your grades like in high school? Shitty. I was a shit student. I barely got by. I got by with my wits, my charm, and my looks. Um, to be honest with you, um, in math, I think the highest, the highest grade I ever got in a math class was a C minus. It was in pre-algebra, and the only reason I got that grade was because I copied off some freshman kid sitting in front of me. I'm a senior taking pre-algebra. I'm copying off a freshman. That's the only way I got by in math class. But beyond that, by the way, do you guys hear that outside? It's, it's my next door neighbor. He has a motorcycle and what he does is he comes outside. I think he's going through a midlife crisis. If you just got one look at him, you, you, you could see that. But he comes outside, he starts up his motorcycle. He leaves it running for 20 minutes. He gets on it. He rides around the neighborhood for about three minutes. He comes back. He leaves it running in his driveway, he goes back inside, he comes out another 20 minutes later and does the same thing. But as far as my grades in high school, they were never phenomenal. And when it comes to artistic things, I have artistic ability, I like to sketch, I like to draw. But when it came to art class, I didn't want to make pottery, I didn't want to make little stupid things I knew. I, like I was like, why am I doing this? I can't make money one day with commercial arts by doing this stuff. No one wants to buy a pottery cup or an ashtray made out of clay for me. And I would say things like that to my art teacher and she'd just look at me with a blank stare on her face. Uh, but beyond that, like, I think I got like a, uh, she gave me like a, a, a C in art class. And then I went on to college and got a degree in graphic design. So go figure. I don't know. Hey John, what are your thoughts on Ben Affleck no longer directing the Batman film? Yeah, that's a bad signal. Don't get scared now. I was waiting for that question. So here are my thoughts on Ben Affleck not directing the upcoming Batman solo movie. It's a little bit sad, it's a little bit depressing, but I think Ben Affleck sees the writing on the wall. Because after Batman v Superman was released, and then you had Suicide Squad released, and anyone with two brain cells can look back and look at the reviews for both of those movies and go, something's not right here. And Ben Affleck will never come out and say this, but I don't think he's very happy with the way Warner Brothers are doing things with the DCEU universe. I think he's very upset. I would be too because essentially you had this guy who's winning these awards, he's directing good movies, and now he put himself in this position and they're surrounding him with all this shit. And it's like, I get it, I get where he's coming from because that's a lot of energy and effort and there's a lot of things that you have to do as a director and I, I don't mind that he wants to focus on playing the character. He's also writing the movie and producing the movie. But I think it comes down to this in all honesty. Look at Ben Affleck's latest movie, Live By Night. It wasn't that successful at the box office. And its reviews were just eh, mediocre at best. But due to its failures, I think he's a little bit discouraged. And that's why he's not directing the solo Batman movie. But with all that said, he is writing it. He is producing it. So I think we will get a quality solo Batman movie. I wish he was directing it as well. But there are talented directors that he can't hire. And if he could pick one director, my dream director to direct the solo Batman movie would be George Miller. Just imagine that a George Miller directed Batman movie produced and written by Ben Affleck. How could that not be a good movie? Hey John, how's it going? Do you have any interesting stories for when you're delivering pizzas back in the day? Love your videos, by the way. Thanks, man. Um, a few. I do have a few interesting stories when I delivered pizzas during college. Uh, I have a few scary stories and a few fun stories. The first fun story is I remember going to this house party. I delivered the pizzas and they're like, hey, you want to come inside and hang out? I'm like, sure, why not? So like 25 minutes later, I've, I've already had a few drinks. They're like, yeah, you just want to hang out here? And I was like, sure, whatever. So an hour goes by. My manager calls my phone. I turn it off. I pretend like it went dead. Then I said I had car problems. Uh, so yeah, I you know, that was a good time. <laughs> and then another time, this is a little bit more dark and gloomy of a story, but we delivered to this like crackhead motel. Nobody wanted to go there. It was just a homicide waiting to happen. Uh, the fact that I never got robbed or shot when delivering to this hotel is beyond me. Uh, but I remember knocking on the door of this hotel room and this like crackhead lady opened the door. She's all frail and fidgety looking. And she's like, come in, come in. My baby's getting cold. My baby's getting cold. And the creepiest thing is when I looked through the crack of the door that was slightly open like this, you could see through the crack. 
there was a guy standing behind the door like this. Yeah, that was a robbery waiting to happen, so... <sighs> but yeah, those are just a few stories off the top of my head, but when you deliver pizzas, you have to be very aware of your surroundings. You essentially have to have night vision, supervision, super... Like, it's just the most intense job at times. At other times, you just drive around in your car listening to, like, middle music eating pizza. Hey, John, I was wondering what advice do you have for someone who writes film reviews but wants to up their game and be better? Uh, I don't write film reviews, but I would say just let your personality shine no matter what you're doing. You know, I do video reviews of films, and when it comes to that, I like to have my own flair, my own style, my own opinion. I like to edit my videos a certain way, but I don't want to make my videos so quick and to the point where there's no substance. Sometimes I enjoy the ramblings, or at least my own ramblings, because I think that's the fun part of listening to someone talk about a movie. Just the minute little random things. But for me personally, when it comes to watching reviews or reading reviews, I don't like videos that try to be overly professional, like Mr. Professional Critic that went to Harvard University. That, that stuff just bores me to read. It almost feels like you're reading an encyclopedia. When I watch reviews or read them, I want them to feel like they're somebody I know. I want it to feel like a friend. I want it to feel like a conversation that you're having about this movie and not just someone preaching to you. So I guess to sum it up, my best advice is Try to make everything that you, that you write or create very personable. I think that's what people like. I think that's what stands out. Hey there, John. I'm sitting on the toilet right now. I was just going to ask, what do you weigh? I, uh, that reminded me of the Joker video in The Dark Knight. Uh, shush, 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 shush. Um, look at me. Um, okay, what do I weigh? I currently weigh 200 pounds. Some days I weigh like 202. Um, other days I weigh like 196. It just depends how much I ate that day or that, that those 72 hours, but I fluctuate around those weights. Hey, how's it going, John? Hey. I was wondering how you and Chris Stuckman became friends. Uh, just YouTube. He commented on my video, I commented on his video, and the bromance began. We actually, I have a flick trip video here on this channel. Watch my latest flick trip video. At the very end of the video, we sit down and talk about that for like five minutes. So if you want to check that out, watch the latest flick trip video. It's a good time. When are you going to do another fan mail unboxing video? You sound very serious and angry. Uh, I'm actually, me and Brittany are shooting one tonight, if not tomorrow. So very, very soon. We are making the fan mail unboxing very soon. Uh, look out for it. And there's a ton of packages. Like, my, my fingers get all tingly. They're sitting up in my office right now, waiting to go. So look out for the video. It's coming very soon. And by the way, if you guys are new to my channel or have no clue what my fan mail unboxing videos are, well, it's where you guys can send me anything that you want to. You can write me a letter, send me pictures, send me an item, something cool, whatever you want to. I prefer workout supplements and movies. Just saying, and badass t-shirts. Just putting that out there. But if you decide to send anything, if you want to include your channel, your website, your name, I do give shout outs in those videos. So yeah, I'll put the mailing address down below in my description description box if you guys want to send anything. I do fan mail unboxing videos about once a month. So yeah, look out for it. Hey John, I've been watching your videos for a while now. Thanks. And I was wondering if you'd ever consider working out with your subscribers. Keep up the good work. I don't know where you live. I live in Greenville, South Carolina. Um, when it comes to working out, I actually honestly prefer to work out by myself. That's just how I am. Like I love to go through the routine very quickly. I like to concentrate. I don't really like to stop and conversate. It's almost like I, I have tunnel vision and if I stop, my head explodes. But if you do see me in the gym, I don't have a problem talking to you. We can get a quick pump together. So that's cool. Yeah, I, I, I actually wouldn't mind it. Um, as long as you bring the baby oil. <laughs> League is one of my most anticipated movies of the year. So if it doesn't reach the expectations the fans are hoping for, what is next for the DCU and Zack Snyder? Nothing. Uh, an empty abyss of shallowness and death. If Justice League sucks ass, it's over. I'm done. It's it's done. We we they tried, they failed. Somehow with millions of dollars, writers, the best directors, the best actors. They couldn't come up with a good movie. It just wasn't meant to be. Put it on a shelf, come back in five years, and reboot everything. So if I were to write a song about your life as a YouTuber, what genre of music or certain tune of a song would you want the song to beat to? Please do. If you are a musician, please do that, and I will share the shit out of it. But I would like an epic, industrial, metal-sounding music. So if you can combine, like, R Rammstein with, like some epic trailer type music with a little bit of Zimmer in there, 
I think that's what I need. Something along these lines. So yeah, if you can do that, well, let me know. Another question, do you plan on ever going to Germany? Because I would love to have a workout session with you. See you, keep it up. Yeah, I, I don't have any plans to come to Germany. Uh, my last name is Flickinger, it's a very German last name. I might have relatives in Germany that I don't know of, I don't know. Um, but um, I went to Switzerland um, a few months back. That's the, that's the only time I've ever been to Europe ever in my life. Um, so yeah, I, I don't have any plans to go to Germany. I don't even know what I would do in Germany. Um, but if I do go, I will let you guys know. Hey John, big fan here. Uh, just a quick question. Which trilogy do you prefer? The Dark Knight trilogy or the Captain America trilogy? That's not, come on. Come on. If you watch my videos, you gotta know the answer to that. The Dark Knight trilogy is far superior for directing, acting, uh, production, cinematography. The music, the design, everything. Everything is far superior with Nolan's Batman trilogy than it is with the Captain America movies. I mean, those feel like epic masterpieces. Captain America movies feel like good comic book movies. Hi, John. Hugs and kisses from Sweden here. And I just wonder, what's your favorite foreign film? Hugs and kisses. I like that. Um, I'm going to go with... Off the top of my head, I'm going to go with South Korean uh, South Korean film, Old Boy. I love Old Boy. I love the way that it's shot. I think it's brutal. It's intense. I love the twist ending. I love the one scene in the hallway where he has a hammer and kicks everyone's ass. I'm going to go with Old Boy. Yeah. Hey, John. I got a quick question for you. If you were forced to sit down and watch one of these pieces of shit, which one would it be? Not this one. He had Fantastic Fours, Elektra, and Daredevil. I'd probably go with Ben Affleck's Daredevil. I don't think it's good, but it's at least slightly entertaining. I'm gonna answer one more question. Do you wanna join in? Yeah. Okay. I'll take this one. Okay. Take a seat. Okay, we're gonna take one more question, maybe two. What's up, John? The question is, what's your favorite comedy movie? Mm. Oh, that's a Britney question for sure. What's your favorite comedy movie, what's Britney? What's yours? Well, I already know yours. Um, I'm gonna go with I, okay, the one that always related to me the most in recent years was Superbad. That essentially was my high school life right there in film. Hanging out in my parents' basement, drinking, watching porn, trying to sneak into strip clubs. How about you, Brittany? Don't they smoke weed in that movie? Yeah, kind of. And they put alcohol in, like, detergent containers. Oh. But how about, what was yours, Brittany? Mine's Step Brothers. Step Brothers? Yeah. I thought it was Dumb and Dumber. Well, that was my old one. Okay, so the new one's Step Brothers? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, what's up, John? I was just wondering, what are some of your favorite movie posters of all time? My favorite movie posters of all time. I have a really epic over-the-top poster up here. I think anything from the 1980s that had an illustrative look to it, I really like those types of posters. The worst types of movie posters are the ones where you just have the logo and the floating heads above it. I hate those. Um, what, do, you, do you have a favorite movie poster? You got Rocky and, and Jaws back there. Those are also a few of my favorites. Mm. None really stand out in my mind. Also, the Back to the Future poster, another illustrated one. What's up, John? Just wondering who you think should direct the new Batman movie. Hey, John, big fan of your work. Uh, just out of curiosity, who do you think should direct the Batman movie? Hey, John, just want to say, big fan, love your videos, keep making them. Also, who would you like to replace Ben Affleck as director <laughs> for the Batman? <laughs> I think I got like 28 questions of the same thing. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for all the great questions. Leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. Uh, look out for new videos. And if you haven't watched the last few videos, we did a, a flip trip video with my good pal Chris Stuckman, another vlog video. So yeah, check those videos out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. That way I can see you guys next time.